Hey guys, it's Mel. Uh, I'm supposed to be packing for Maryland, but instead I am finishing another Father's Day card. So this time I had to make a Father's Day card for my dad from me and the girls. So I used my new little piggy set that thank you to all of you who watched my latest um, video from my, what was that? Uh, Simon says stamp haul. I got two stamp sets and this was one of them. The little, um, you can see it better there. The, what is this one called? <clears throat> Does it say on here? No, it doesn't. Yeah, Hog Heaven. So I got a lot of response and thank you to those of you who answered my question, what a sow is, or sow, I don't know how you say it, but um, the little farming term. So you guys are cute. I knew you guys would know. So um, anyway, here is my card and I really like this card, so I'll have to show it to you. So here is what it looks like, and I'm just going to go through a few things and tell you just quickly some of the things that I used. Um, so, it has a little cutout window, and it's even cuter inside, so I can't wait to show you that. So, on the outside, I used the Columbus Circle, what you see here, it's like a stitched, I don't even know if the camera's showing it, let's see. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's stitched in a couple different places, let's see if you can see there. Um, so that's a Columbus Circle die. I believe that's what it's called from mama elephant so it cuts out this circle and it doesn't cut it out all the way just like kind of leaves the imprint and then an open window on like your card base and then i cut it out again and to get white and i use tumbled glass for the inside and my round distress thing um so i use one of my new tim holtz inks that i got from a d stash um these are some things that i ordered from like ebay and i'm sure they probably came from like malaysia or somewhere far um they were so cheap I think it was like 99 cents for a hundred and they're really pretty glittery flowers um, and that was including the shipping. So I used my one and only Father's Day stamp that I got from a paper pumpkin kit um, which was a D-stash and then I don't know if you can tell but I used detail gold um, embossing powder to emboss that in the background um, and I was sure to use my embossing buddy for that. And then I cut out the little fence and I hear I am putting my brother's scan and cut to work. I am still loving it. Um, it is like, you know, people have said this for a while and I did for a long time. I was just like, you know, as I am with a lot of things, I'm late on the train, but you know, I just thought like, what is that's another machine. And you know, is it going to do everything that I needed to do? But this thing is so cool and it impresses me every time. And just the fact that if you look at it this way, if each, each die set, like a coordinating die set is around, um, is around, I'd say like $20, um, maybe some are 15, but 15 to $20. So every, what is that? Let's say 10, after 10 stamp sets, if you bought the coordinating dies, it would basically pay for this machine. Um, so maybe even a couple more, give or take, but really it would cover that machine and you don't have the not just that you'd have to recut and tape and cut and run these through your machine your embossing machine um your die cutting machine like a million times where i can stamp out 20 pigs and i'll just automatically know where they are and cut out 20 pigs for me so this one i would have loved to just use one because it kind of covered up the fence but you can see it on the back once i show you but this one i did to make it look like my two little girls um so there's maya and talia I cut out little bows. Instead of using it as a bow tie, I used it in their hair, and I Copic colored them, and I only used glossy accents in the center so that I could, um, I didn't want to mess with these while the glue was drying, but I think it's dry now, um, to make the bows like a 3D, so I don't know if you can see that. Then I, so I cut out the fence, and I cut out two of everything, and I'll show you why. So here's the one fence, and I just used my new um, glaze, black jelly roll glaze pen. Is it here? Let's see, is it under here, under my mess? Um, for their eyes and then little dots on the fence just to make them pop out a little. And I cut out this, my brother's skin and cut, not me, cut out these flowers, I accent on the side and this little pot of flowers, little arrangement down here. And then I colored them with my Copics along with the grass and did some shading with the gray on the fence. Um, I used my white gel pen to do stitch lines around. I also used the edge of my... Where is it? Here it is. This is like a little craft knife that I've had for years. I used the edge of it on this is my paper traying paper. And I just kind of went like this because I didn't like how it looked like, you know, it looked like I just trimmed it with my um, 
trimmed it with my trimmer and I don't I don't like things to look so like cut out I don't know it's weird to explain but I just went along the edges all the way around and it really was easy and I just kind of went down and you'll see like the fibers falling and just kind of gave it the like distressed look um, all around I added this was aqua mist by paper tray ink a little satin polka dot bow then I used for this right here and I lined it with some washi tape I'm a little upset it shifted with in the die cut machine but I used this set by paper smooches it's called stitches um, let's see if you can see that there and it comes with some like wonky stitch lines and then this little thing and it also comes with this one is the one that I used so I just used washi tape and taped it down but just to give it some little extra cut out because it looked like you ever get a card and it looks like too much blank area which is what it looked like here which is why I added the bow um, but I was happy with the way it came out so there's the front and the girl little piggies but are you ready hopefully you waited through my blabber to see this how cute is that <laughs> so I stamped out on this stamp set I stamped out. There's my birds. Where did I just put it? Here we go. They need to calm down. Um, I think they get mad at me when I come up in my craft room. So here, um, they're in my window to you new subscribers. And welcome to all my new subscribers. I've seen a lot of um, new add-ons. And welcome to my channel. Um, I'm so glad that you subscribed and if you hear these birds I have a window up in my craft room and although we have central air I have to put a window unit up here which I can't stand but I have to put it in the one window up here because the air the central air just does not make it up here and so it's sitting in the window but every year the birds make a home like in a nest under it so and I don't have the heart to evacuate them so evict them we'll say so anyway I used this little stamp and stamped it out a few times on my brother's skin and cut and had him cut it out for me and I cut out two more bows and I fussy cut them. I actually did this one myself because I didn't stamp enough. Just one of them and it, it cut out the rest. So I put the bows on the back so that it really looks like it, you know, came through. And then I added some flower detail and there's another fence back here. But still they're covering the top of the front. The fence is really cute. I love how, I don't know what I love about this fence, but see how the rounded tops. So both on the front and back, it kind of covers that with them hanging over the fence. But still cute. So there's the inside. So when he opens it up and it's got, so on the inside, it says on the outside, it says happy father's day. And then when you open it up, it's going to say love mommy and the grand pigs. <laughs> so, um, I thought that was cute to have that there. And my dad loves flowers. You should see their backyard. It looks like, like an oasis. Uh, we're having Talia's birthday party there because they have a pool and they have this little like gazebo thing. So, um, but he always does up his flowers. I think like it's this thing to do now that he's retired, but, um, he has really pretty flower floral arrangements he likes to go to like nurseries and different things and pick up the cool different kind of looking flowers like clematises and you know them fun ones so his house his backyard is beautiful it's just a lot of work to do all that watering but they like it so I was going to take the time and use my small alphabet stamps from lawn fawn to spell all this out but I thought you know what I don't think my dad cares so I just quickly took my gel pen and as you see it's not perfect but it just says love mommy and the grand pigs because I thought that went but just this background scene is so cute um, and I just adhered the inner part and that's what I used the tumbled glass so hopefully you can see the blue sky um, but I just thought that was really cute and um, a fun little card so I just completed that and wanted to show you there's one set in there and I owe a few of you some cards so that'll have to be when we get back I just want to get these because it's going to be Father's Day and then my mom's birthday so I'm hoping to get another card in today and if I do I will share it with you um, before we leave so thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you soon bye